Hello Internet and welcome to this story video on Gangster's Paradise. So what we're going to address here is the story behind the song. So how did the song happen? Um, was it inspired by another song? What was the meaning of the song? Uh, and how did the people write it? So that's what we're going to see in uh, this uh, video. Well, actually the song, I don't know whether you know this, is uh, actually based on a Stevie Wonder song called Pastime Paradise. And if you listen to uh, both of them, I've put the links in the description, they're very similar. But uh, Gangster's Paradise really changed the feel of it. Stevie Wonder's song was about people who were stuck in nostalgia, basically. And Gangster's Paradise is about people who are really stuck in the ghetto, I guess, or in this gangster lifestyle. It's much more about the streets, etc. So the story itself is actually quite interesting because uh, Coolio, who's the rapper, and LV, and uh, a bunch of other guys were hanging around in the studio and. Uh, they used to, you know, you know, rap on beats and do what you do in a studio. And uh, Coolio was passing by and he heard this boom, 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 that type of, what, the beat of Gangster's Paradise. And he was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, Who, who's on this, who's on this? And uh, they were like, no, I don't know, it's nobody, he says, it's mine, it's mine. And then LV, which is the uh, singer of uh, Gangster's Paradise, had already uh, done the hook. So he'd already done the... Tell me why are we too blind, so blind to see that the ones we heard are you and me? And that other thing, that part was already on it. And so uh, he was he inspired, basically. He explains that he walked in the studio and he was like, he heard, you know, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life. And he already had like this, these first bars that were already there. And so he just took a pen and like he started writing the rest. And you know, I've seen him in interviews and he explains and it's really like, you know, uh, you know, I went blind and the Lord was doing its, his work. And so uh, he really wrote it in a very like, uh, like uh, you know, spontaneous, uh, divine manner almost. And uh, he had this song and they were all really excited about it. And actually, um, <laughs> Stevie Wonder uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, you know, didn't want them to use uh, the song because they didn't ask him actually uh, whether they could. And so Coolio knew uh, somebody who knew the brother of Stevie Wonder or something like that. And they finally managed to persuade Stevie Wonder to do it. But Stevie Wonder was like, you know, oh, you have to clean your act up, Coolio. You can't swear in it because he had like, you know, a couple of N words and other stuff that, he, that Stevie Wonder didn't approve of. Anyway, so they got the song, uh, they got it made, and they were like, wow, this is really good. And so a little side note here is actually that Coolio uh, was quite, I don't want to say old, but he wasn't 23, like he says in the song. He was 30, almost 31 by the time the song came out. So Coolio was a rapper who had been known a little bit, but more for like party songs and stuff. And so he had this, you know, deeper uh, joint that he was going to that he was going to release and actually got the attention of people making a movie and that movie is Dangerous Minds. So uh, the movie is about uh, a teacher uh, who, well, isn't really a teacher, she's an ex, she's an ex-Marine Corps uh, person and she comes and she kind of, you know, gets this teaching gig and it's a load of, uh, you know, uh, poor kids basically and um, she does a load of uh, things uh, that she shouldn't, basically. She bribes them, uh, she uh, you know, uh, gives them all A's. Anyway, she uses very unorthodox teaching methods. And uh, then, uh, spoiler alert, somebody dies. Anyway, so the film is actually you know, supposed to be about uh, the ghetto children and uh, the, the school system, actually, the fact that the school system isn't helping these people. That's what I think the film is really about. I don't think the film is that good. Michelle Pfeiffer is a brilliant actress, if you uh, know who she is. But the movie, yeah, anyway. But still, um, it made the song iconic because in the movie clip, so the video clip for the song, Michelle Pfeiffer's actually in it. And so they have this kind of standoff with Coolio and it creates such a 
powerful thing for the song Gangster's Paradise, and that's what really made it blow up. I mean, it really is one of the most uh, known songs of all time, kind of, uh, for, for that period. Um, uh, Coolio, you know, is uh, a rapper, he's quite a humble guy from what I see, and he says that he, you know, he's been around the world, uh, you know, to Uzbekistan and these other countries that other rappers don't go to, and it's thanks to, you know, Gangster's Paradise and, and all of that. So he's quite grateful. And uh, he also says, as we're going to talk about interpretation, that the song it no longer just means what it meant when he wrote it. It's kind of everybody's song now. It's transcended him. So that concludes the story um, on Gangster's Paradise. Um, next we're going to have a look at the lyrics and then the interpretation. Um, so if you uh, like what I'm trying to do here, then like, share, subscribe, etc. If you really like what I'm doing, then hit the bell, that way you don't miss a single video. And in the meantime, keep on rocking.